Hello everyone, it's Nadie and welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we are reviewing the most requested item I have ever gotten on this channel, Kylie Lipsticks. <laughs> This item literally got hundreds and hundreds of requests from you awesome, wonderful, beautiful, marvelous people. I can't thank you enough. It makes my job so much more fun to know that what I'm reviewing is what you guys actually want to see. So thank you. As you know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. So I have heard very mixed reviews about this lipstick. Some people say it's worth it. Some people say it isn't. I've used them before. Do I think they're worth the price? Hail to the fuck no. For this one lipstick, it cost me $25 including shipping and that is money that I will never get back from her because she has a no return policy. There are so many cooler things you could buy for $25 like a Venus flytrap or a slow cooker or assless underwear, but no, I choose to buy this bad boy right here. And it's not like I have anything against the girl. She is a fucking mogul and a hell of a genius. She says jump and the world quakes for a minute. Yes, the packaging is beautiful, but you are 150% paying for the name. I will definitely be doing some comparison videos for some lower price dupes, so make sure to keep your eyes open for that. Let's get down to the packaging. So it came in this beautiful box. It's not as colorful as Jeffrey's, but it's black like my heart and soul. You open it up and it's got Kylie oh, right there and some nice foam padding in it. And you see rich bitch Kylie with her Louis Vuitton do-rag on and the lipstick. I only got one because they were so expensive. I thought maybe I should get a lip kit, but then I was like, I'm not paying 20 extra dollars for a pencil. So this is what we have to work with. And I have several fakes to test it out with. All right, at first these bitches look very similar, but they're actually quite different. For starters, the print on the real one has a holographic shadow behind it, which you probably can't see, but the fake one does not. The real Kylie's bottom writing is also bigger, clearer, and a bit thinner font. Also, the color of the drips are completely different shades. Kylie's is a reddish, while the fake is kind of a warm brown. The ingredient list is completely different from the words down to the font. The only real similarity is the bottom wording where it says made in the USA, but even the net weight is different. Kylie's is 0.11 fluid ounces, while the fake is 0.09 fluid ounces. I'm not sure if she redesigned the packaging after so many fakes were coming out, or if this is just a shitty dupe. The copyright and service information is all the exact same wording, but with a different font and different wording placement. Even the font on the end of the package looks completely different. The tubes themselves look almost identical, but you can tell that Kylie's has more product in it and it's just better quality. Ooh, hey, they look like my eyes. Anyway, the stickers on the bottom, which you probably can't even see, are the exact same other than the amount in there. As you can probably tell, they do look very similar in color. One is a little warmer and one's a little cooler, but other than that, they are almost the exact same. They do both have fragrances. Kylie's has a very sweet cupcake, like vanilla candy corn smell. And the fake one just kind of smells like urinal cakes. It smells like urinal cakes. It smells like a unused porta potty. That's exactly what it smells like. Now onto the tube. They are obviously both white. The fake one is more of your average applicator while Kylie's is unique in the sense that it's fluffy and a bit more stubby. Take a look at how very similar those colors are. I'm curious to know what the formula will be like, which brings us to Swatchy Swatchy time. You guys know the song, are you ready? It's Swatch and Ta. For swatches, I'm gonna do one whole lip of each and then top of one and bottom on the other and we'll kind of compare the colors. Mm. Which one should we start with? Which one should we start with? And I can't tell which one this is. The real one. Oh, very smooth right off the bat. Very comfortable feeling. All right, there we go. I just put it on and it's already dry. It doesn't feel tight. It feels so comfortable, literally like there's nothing on my lips. I am in love with this. This totally beats any of the lipsticks, real or fake, that I've ever tried on this channel. I still think $25 was way too much for this. I think like 15 total, including shipping, would have been perfect. I could have easily done without all this Kylie merch shit. Like, I didn't need that. Here we are, a little closer up. It feels so good. Application was a dream. It feels weightless and light like shit. And I would almost deem this perfect if it weren't for the little top heavy price tag. For removal, I have learned my lesson from other videos, so I'm just going straight in with some body oil and a makeup wipe. Other than getting on my teeth a little, which is totally fine, it came off perfectly. Okay, there is nothing left on my lips, no residue of anything, so I'm going to go in with the fake. 
This is definitely a different formula. It's not as light and creamy. It is very light and liquidous, but it just doesn't really have the same feel to it. It's not uncomfortable or anything. It's nice, but just different. Okay, the application with this one was quite a bit harder because it's so liquidous, it kind of starts to bleed out, but it's doable. You just have to really take it slow. Oh shit. Fuck me. This is exactly the same. Like, it feels exactly the same. It's super weightless. It's already dry. Like, there's nothing on my lips. The color is definitely not as rich and pigmented and where it was drying, like along the edges where there was more, it's drying a bit darker, like almost blue or purple or something. So let's add another layer just for shits. Okay, here we are with two layers. I am incredibly impressed. Like it is hard to make me speechless, but I am at a loss for words for how impressed I am with this. I will say though that the longer I'm leaving it on, there's kind of like a tingling sensation going on on my lips. like like irritated, like if you brush your lips for like five minutes, that's what it feels like, kind of like a raw, hurty feeling. Pain is beauty, but I ain't getting cancer over this shit, mm mm. All right, I have that off and my lips feel perfectly fine now, but while it was on there, it was like, I had been doing a lip scrub for way too long. As promised, I will put one on the top and one on the bottom and you guys have to guess to see which one you think is the real or the fake. Okay, we are dry. Can you guys tell which one is which? Hmm, yes, no. Ooh. Ooh. If you guess that the top is real, then you are right. Ah, yay. And what's weird is that the top lip feels totally fine, but the bottom lip is burning. But even though they burn my lips, I got a few extra ones to swatch for you guys, and I'm not gonna let them just go to waste. So here we go with King K. This one is the fake, and it does smell very coconutty and sweet. Nothing at all like the one I tried before, but closer to Kylie's real one. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my God. This is not drying. It's been like 10 minutes since I put it on and it's still stucky. But if you can look past the Gorilla Glue lips, it's quite pretty. And now onto my personal favorite, Court K. Just like Dolce K, it's dried instantly. It feels very weightless, but it does still have that burny sensation. Here we are with True Brown K. Smells like a part of potty, but feels like a dream. Last and probably least, we have Kylie's lip kit right here. And so I'll start aligning my lip with the pencil. The pencil is actually really nice and creamy. Well, if anything, I would just get this fake kit for the pencil. Damn. Wow, this one is actually the one that I am the most surprised about. I thought the lipstick and the lip pencil together were gonna be horrendous, but they actually match perfectly. I am pleasantly impressed. And there you go, that was very interesting. I don't really know why my lips burned so much with the fakes, so I guess use at your own risk because that was a little bit scary and a tiny bit worrying. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. You can also send me suggestions as to what you'd like to see on future fake ass episodes. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.